food offerings with a short lifespan of one day and one night, yama, kalika, are juice drinks, pana, or the eight types of drink, atapana. Some people may not understand how pana drinks are made. Pana drinks are made from fruit. What kind of fruit is suitable? There are a great number of fruits. However, it is explicitly stated that the fruit used for pana drinks must be no larger than the bale fruit. For instance, mangoes are allowed, limes are allowed, bananas are allowed. This is just for starters. Star fruit is allowed. This is because these fruits are smaller than the bale fruit. Tamarind is allowed. When you make it, you must blend it and squeeze out only the liquid. Future it to get only pure juice. Future it at least two or three times. Taste it to see if the filtered juice contains any pulp. If it does, then future it again. Future it until there is no more pulp. Then it may be offered to monks. If you don't filter it well and it still contains pulp, the monks who drink it will have committed an apathy or offence. Which offence? Be colourful or eating an evening meal. This is the violation. What teachers have done in the past is to have banner drinks in the afternoon, starting from 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. That's that time for it. This is because during the morning there is ample food in the stomachs, so they aren't hungry. Then around 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. or all night, they drink bana drinks, or atabana, the eight types of drink. Some people don't understand what the eight types of drink are. Ata means eight, so they interpret it to mean filter it eight times. It is not filtering it eight times. Originally, the eight types of drink refer to the eight types of fruit that were permitted for making fruit juice during the Buddha's era. They would pick one of them to juice. They were called atta, or eight types of fruit. Today, permission has been granted for more fruits. The fruits to be used are not limited to eight fruits. Mostly, it is the eight fruits, but many other fruits are permitted. What is important is that the fruit isn't larger than a bale fruit. This is Bana explained in short.